and I explained it to him. He came before with me a few times. So he worked with me a couple of times before. So I explained it to him what's going on, how they got it and all that stuff. I, it was my part. I thought he fully understood. Okay. And I, I do want you to know that this board takes a yes. violation like this very seriously. Sir, we always, very serious. whenever we are at the store, and even, yes, sir, we card everybody. We even don't sell cigarettes. People, you know, young kids, they swear on us. We don't care. We, we always take a serious. And I also spoke with Karen this morning from the administration office. Yeah. I got the number of the outfit. They give the license training. That's the tip training. Yes. The tip training. That was another question I was going to bring up and I to you. I have February 17th, 8 a.m. appointments made at 30 Water Street, January. I'm going to be included in that certification also. Will the other gentleman also be attending that? Rakesh Narula will be also going there. And also I have another guy, Salim Punirwala. He lost his license. His I don't know. Yes. So he's going to also be Thank you. Chair? Chief, yes. Mr. Chairman, the thing that I think that uh, most bothers me is this was a 15-year-old kid. It bothers me also. Mm -hmm. yeah. This wasn't 19 or 20. Right. It's 15 years old. 15 year old. Yes, sir. I, I don't know how he can do it, but he, he can get it. Yeah. And I, I spoke to the owner uh, when he received his uh, notice of the show cause hearing. And he advised me the same thing as this gentleman did, that they had a problem, they brought in the guy from the outside, uh, and he sold, he sold it to the, to, to the boy. But my, I told him my problem was that uh, he wasn't tip spraying, and he didn't ask, you know, he didn't ask for the ID, he didn't follow the procedure. Thank you, Chief. Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, sir, this Mr. Narula, is he a regular employee with you? So he's... Just, uh, just a fill He was just a fill -in. He will become a regular employee once I have his certification. Once you have it. Okay. Once you have his tips training. Yes, sir. And once I have the certification, I am supposed to submit it to the town with a copy of those certifications. Sir, yes, I, I, I take this kind of violation very seriously. Yes, sir. I, you. sir, I, I, I'm with you. I mean. Uh, the, the implications are tenfold in yourself to a minor who yes, may go out driving a vehicle. Yes, sir, I, I, fully, I mean, uh, we own this store for seven years, and I've been this country for 25 years, and matter of fact, my other guys, they, they don't even smoke and drink. Uh, does anybody have a recommendation? Well, chief make a recommendation, or do we do it? I, I normally don't make recommendations. It, it, I live the chief board. doesn't make a recommendation. I, I'll, I'll, I'll go a bit forward. Normally, what the board will do on a first case basis is we will suspend, uh, well, we will suspend the license for three days. That's generally always been upheld with the ABC. Am I correct, Mr. Younger? Uh, yes. on a, on a three-day on a first violation they are very reluctant from my understanding anything over that on the first violation to, to uphold it I was going to recommend that we do a three-day revocation suspension revocation on, over the weekend of January 25th 26th and 27th that was going to be my recommendation <coughs> You, you can't go over the three days. If I, we go over the three days, it's not a hell. Is that? Yeah. Yeah, this is just recommendations. It's not, is generally the, the theory is, is that if you go over three days for a first suspension, uh, they can go to the, they'll go to the, they'll go to the Alcohol Beverage Control Commission, appeal the decision, 
that you cannot overturn the decision when you turn it back to the board and remand it, saying that, well, we feel that maybe the um, decision of the board was too harsh at this time. Generally, recommendations of three days generally is upheld unless there's any extreme situation. Just on day, uh, with the chair of the chief, that you ran a uh, tobacco stand. Correct. They were in compliance with the tobacco. And they were Makes it all the more incredible <laughs> that uh, they wouldn't sell cigarettes, but this is a bit. Um, it was just because of uh, the new guys. Uh, I have all other guys, including myself, whenever we all <coughs> regular employees are at the store, we don't, we don't sell it. Just want, can I clarify that, Mr. Yeah. Murphy? Uh, we did it on two separate days, so. They yeah, weren't yeah, done at the same time. No, I, I realize so it was might have been two the different people in the same store. Could have been. It was probably a different employee. Correct. Oh, I think I should go along with the recommendation. I, I don't think we should. I don't think we have to do any more. I think he shows genuine concern about it. Uh, seems like he's going to take the appropriate action. So I, I think that would be. I think that would be sufficient. Any further discussion? If not, could we have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to suspend for three days on January 25th, 26th, and 27th the package store wine and malt beverage license of Christopher's Market to Washington Street. Second. Motion made and second. Any further discussion? The only thing I want to bring up on discussion, sir, is we are going to be waiting for those tips, certificates from every employee and every manager in the store. And I want to be very clear on that. Okay, okay motion made and second. Hearing no further discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Zero. Now, sir, it'll be your responsibility, somebody at the store's responsibility, to drop that license off here at the town hall and the town administrator's office Friday 8 a.m. <coughs> yeah, take your time, give it up, yep. Friday 8 a.m. <coughs> and then you'll be able to pick the license up on Monday the 28th at 8 a.m. at the town administrator's office. Yes. 26th and 27th. You can pick it up at 8 a.m. on the 28th, because that's when we open. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Can you explain to them no alcohol can be served within that period of time? Yes. If you cannot sell, I would I would advise you to lock it up somehow if you can. You don't have to by law, but no alcohol can be sold can 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 be sold at that time. You do understand that, right? Okay. Thank you very much, sir. And thank you for your honesty. Thank you. I'm done. Okay, we'll move up to town administrator's report. Mr. Younger. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I don't have anything else here for Chief Nell. Oh, sure. oh, okay. Thank, thank you. I'm sorry, Chief. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.
And it's good news that we received funding for that right here project. Any questions or comments from the board? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, are we going to apply for this? Or are we going to? Uh, Funding is available. What are we going to do? Are we going to? Well, no. They have they have approved the funding. They have stated they, the state has funded this funded this funded this project for state bridge. Okay, so they're going to do it. Right. Okay. And that's, you know, that's not coming from the sixty-two money, is it? No. 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 This is totally separate from the project. <laughs> Also, uh, in regards to public works uh, regarding breach permits for the DMs and the area, um, we will be requesting breach permits for locations on the Haverhill, the Haverhill Street area and the Elm Street area. Order that, and I will be um, drafting a letter in support of that. And I just would like the board's support in supporting these efforts. So we can is the process going? This, this is for the Beaver? Yes. For the Beaver? I think. Yeah, I, I, what I'd like to do to, to speed up this process, if we could, is that we kind of have a blanket letter available that if this comes in before the board at any time, because this has been up before the board for the last three meetings or so, that we don't have to, what, what happens is we say go ahead, and then it has to go to the Board of Health and then the Conservation Commission, and they're kind of looking for our approval before they do anything. So I would kind of like to almost relinquish our authority and let them, if they feel it's necessary, you know, do it and do it immediately. I, I, I don't know how the rest of the board feels, but I mean, I think we have checks and balances where the Board of Health has to uh, go out and, and see that it's a necessity. The Conservation Commission has to go out and we have the town engineer looking at it. Uh, and I think if they, agree that it should be done. I'd like to be able to speed it up and just, you know, whenever a plane comes in through Mr. Younger or anybody, that they, uh, you know, act on it immediately. Mr. Mark, I would be in full concurrence with that. Delay the process. Concom, Board of Health, EPW, they know what needs to be done, um, etc. Let them go forth and get it done and not wait for us to have a meeting and, yeah. and, and give them direction or, or a letter so we can have some kind of, sort of standing rule that, that they address these issues. And okay. uh, well, I hate to hear the term relinquish authority if I ask about that. Um, in regards to this uh, issue, it has come up this is now the third time this winter and uh, it's not really necessary that the uh, townspeople have to uh, jump through hoops to get this done when it's causing uh, a lot of problems in several locations. So I think generally I would agree that uh, we should advise them that uh, they should not take any uh, undue time to get this done and, and uh, give the permits so that the town engineer can go ahead and breach these dams. And, and I will agree with everything I heard except for the word relinquish the fund. But I have no problem with this going forward and, 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 and doing this on a timely basis. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I can draft up for the chairman's signature for tomorrow um, so we can get this done. Uh, a letter basically giving them a blanket you know, support of a breaching the issue. The authority to move forward. Right. Yeah. I have no problem with that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Also, the follow-up on that, um, the dams are still remaining at those sites. The beavers are gone, but we do have to remove the dams. Right. Which is one of the most important, the, the most important, not a problem. Stand for any more. Um, you know, Mr. Jim, that's it for now. Okay, you want old business. Mr. Rupp. Uh, where are we on the budget? I am, I am meeting to get the capital budget uh, tomorrow morning with the four departments 
with uh, 